The first question we've got for you, you see, on the t of the two weeks you've been away, one week we went to Seal, Seal Hain on the Wednesday. And how was that? That was really good. That was really good. We put a couple of clips on, on YouTube of them interviewing us. Because I thought we'd start with that, because we're not going to object. Okay. And then we'll gradually put up videos of everybody else and see if that's still all right with them. I, I, to, sorry to butt in, mm, but, I, but I would, but I was really, I, I kind of really liked Suhain. I love the fact it was open to the public and that anybody can go there. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, yeah. It's great. So, was there any bits of Seal Hain you really, 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 really liked? I I must say I was rather intrigued about the cafe. The, the cafe. cafe. I think, well, the bistro. Bit. I think Will was intrigued about the cafe, <laughs> the bistro. Yeah, as well. Because well, that because you like you were saying, you could easily spend fifty quid in there on a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could spend twenty quid on a bottle of wine. You said fifty. With, no, it was, I think it was about eighteen, eighteen, <laughs> well, eighteen pound fifty. But it caters for everybody. Because we could, got this right. It, you, it, so carry on. You could spend fifty quid on two. Three bottles of wine, yeah, and get very drunk. You would. I think we should explain the the the, the re well. It's a restaurant or bistro at Seal Hain, and as John has said, anybody can go there. So it, it caters for people who just turn up for lunch. They've gone out for a, a trip somewhere or another, and they can stop by for lunch. But we we had quite reasonably priced pasta of the day, and that was a little bit more than you'd pay at Cafe Fifty Five. Yeah. But not, not a lot much more, more Not a lot more, no. It was it was possible. I think they cater for quite a wide range of... They do. ...tastes and budgets. Yeah. I think that's all right. But, Chris, one of the things we noticed was a tweet from you, which was, was had been photographed and stuck on the wall. Oh, the... <laughs> Yes, I know that one. And it says uh, something like the secret of radio. The first rule of radio... Is be a bird. Yes. Well, it was <laughs> the first rule of radio would be prepared. Yep. But I <laughs> thought be a bird sounded better. <laughs> <laughs> so that was your that was your comment. So yeah. After, after and your... it keeps getting retweeted by Carl. Right. What, so, it, how long ago was this tweet? If you don't mind me asking. Um, it was probably about six to eight months ago. Goodness gracious! It's still getting retweeted this day. Yeah. Oh. God. So, how 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 do you plan to be a bird, or don't you plan about being a bird? How how. How is being a bird helping you with radio? I go tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so it's the tweeting that is the radio. Yeah, it is. Okay, well that's going to work. That's fine. Um, I think I might play another record and then ask you another question. Do you reckon? Because uh, yeah, they 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 did try to suggest to us you had to mix up the music with the with the talk. As you know, I'd normally go on talking far too long, or for a long time anyway. Well, mix the music then. We'll do that. Um, this is this is from uh, a, 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 a CD called American Soul by Mick Hucknall. <laughs> 